This video will show you how to create service connectors using API documentation exposed through Swagger and to create cloud application integration process that will weave the actions on these service connectors into a single unit. In this demonstration, we'll use Marketo as an example. Marketo is a SaaS-based marketing automation software built to help organizations automate and measure marketing engagement, tasks, and workflows. To access Marketo, we need to provide inputs like client ID, client secret, and a grant type, which returns access token as output. The access token is then used for further interactions with the Marketo system. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. Enter your credentials and click Login and select Application Integration Service from the list of available services. Let's begin by creating Marketo Login API Service Connector. Click New and click Service Connectors. There are two Service Connector patterns available. Create from WSDL and Create from Swagger. We will select Create from Swagger and click Create. Enter name, location and description. Select file as the Swagger source. Download the Swagger file from the given location and save it on your local file system. Choose this file here. The Swagger is passed and gives a list of operations here. Click Next. Review the summary and next steps and click Finish. We will now configure the service connector. The Definition tab defines connection properties. In this case, host name is defined and pre-configured. The Actions tab defines the operations available for this service. Action defines the generic properties for this operation. The Input tab defines the inputs required for this operation to work. Client underscore ID, client underscore secret and grant underscore type are mandatory input fields, whereas the partner underscore ID is not mandatory. Enter values in the test width text boxes for each of these input fields. To add more input fields, click the Add icon. Enter details here. To delete, click the Delete icon. The Binding tab defines the URL that you will connect to. The Output tab defines the output fields. We will add a few output fields. Similarly, we have added output fields like Access underscore token, Scope, Token underscore type, Expires underscore in, and Response. The Test tab lets you test your service connector. Click Test. The test is successful. Status 200 indicates the test has succeeded. The number 2870 for expires underscore in is the number of seconds after which the token will lapse. Note down the access token. You will need this in the subsequent steps. Save and publish the service connector. Next, we will need to build a connection on top of the Marketo Login API service connector. Click New and Connections and click Create. Enter an appropriate name for the connection. Select the service type from the folders and select where we want to run the connection. Now that the login service connection is made to Marketo, we will need to make the lead service connection to Marketo. For this, we will import the Swagger definition the same way we did for login services. Click New and click Service Connectors. Select Create from Swagger and click Create. 
Enter Marketo Leads API as the name. Select File as the Swagger source. Download the Swagger file from the given location and save it on your local file system. Choose this file here. The Swagger is parsed and lists the operations here. Review the summary and next steps and click Finish. The Definition tab defines the connection properties based on the Swagger that you imported. The Action tab shows all the operations. Select the Get Lead by ID using Get. Action defines generic properties and expects the lead ID. The Input tab defines the inputs required for this operation to work. Lead ID is the mandatory field. Enter a test value for the lead ID. Enter the access token that you noted before in the Login API Service Connector. The Binding tab defines the URL that you will connect to. The Output tab defines the output format. We'll add email as the output field. The Test tab lets you test your service connector. Click Test. The test is successful. Status 200 indicates the test has succeeded. This is the email of the lead that we gave. Save and publish the service connector. Next, we will need to build a connection on top of the Marketo Leads API service connector just as we did for Login API. Click New and Connections. Enter an appropriate name for the connection. Select the service type from the folders and enter the host name. Save and publish the connection. Now, we have two disjoint Marketo service connectors. One of them gives access underscore token as output, whereas the other expects access underscore token as input. We will need to weave these two connectors into a single unit so that the user can perform coding paradigms like decision making and parallel path execution. We will do this using a process and call this Marketo API Business Process. Click New. Select Processes and click Create. A design palette appears where you can create the process design. Start and End are added by default. In the General tab, we'll enter the name of the process as Marketo API Business Process. We'll configure this process as HTTP SOAP process, allow anonymous access and run on cloud server. Enter input fields. We'll add client ID in. Similarly, we have added client secret in, grant type in, and lead ID in. Add email underscore out as the output field. We'll now add a service step and call this service Invoke Marketo Login API. In the Service tab, we have entered the service type and connection details. The input fields list Client ID, Client Secret and Grant Type. We'll edit the Client ID field. Similarly, we have edited the values for Client Secret and Grant Type. Save the process. Add another service step after Invoke Marketo API and name it Invoke Marketo Lead by ID using Get API. In the Service tab, we have entered the service type and connection details. Update the input fields. Next, we'll add a decision step after Get Lead ID using Get. We'll call this decision as Valid Lead ID. In the Decision tab, Select Email for field, Path Condition as Equals, 
and leave the value field blank. If the email is blank, it indicates the lead ID was invalid and the execution will take path 1. Otherwise, it will return a valid email address and the execution will take path 2. Save your updates. Next, we'll add an assignment step for the equals branch and call it assign email output failure. Fill in the assignment's target and value. Similarly, we'll add another assignment step for the otherwise branch and call it assign email output success. Fill in the assignment's target and value. Save and publish this process. We will now execute the process. Click Properties and Process Properties. Click View Swagger File. Client ID in, Client Secret in, Grant Type in, and Lead ID in are the required input fields. Back on the Properties window, click Copy to copy the process URL and paste it in a new tab. Enter the input fields that you noted from the Swagger file and their relevant input values that you noted while creating the Leads API service connector. The execution is successful and returns a valid email ID. Back on the Informatica Cloud Application Integration screen, open the Application Integration Console. In the Process tab, you will see an entry for the process you created. Click the ID to see further details. Notice the execution path with a green tick. The path taken is a success path with a valid lead ID. Click the Invoke Marketo Login API service. Review the input fields and output fields. Similarly, Click the Invoke Marketo Lead by ID using Get API Service. Review the input fields and the output fields. The output is a valid email ID. We'll now simulate a failure execution. Enter a lead ID with value 1. The email out says, Email not found. Now, back on the Application Integration Console, click the ID to view further details. Notice that the path taken as shown by the green tick is a failure path. Review the input and output fields for the Invoke Marketo Login API service. Similarly, review the input and output values for the Invoke Marketo Lead by ID using GET API service. Notice the lead ID is 1, which is an invalid value. The email shows blank. If you wish to do a further detailed debugging, you can go to the Advanced view. Click Variables. Let's look at the input fields. Here you can see the input values to the process. Let's look at the output fields. These are the output values from the process. This concludes the video demonstration on creating and executing a Marketo Business API process.